Hi, this is Scoggett, and today what I'm going to be making is I'm going to be making a pepperoni pizza mac and cheese. Now, it sounds kind of kind of funny. Trust me, it's, it's very good, and uh, kids love it. Uh, I'm going to be making this video in two parts. The first part will show uh, I'll show you how all this comes together, and the ingredients what you're going to need. Uh, and the second part will be the finished product and plating up, and I'll show you how it turned out. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you what you're going to need to uh, make this. You're going to need two box, boxes of the mac and cheese, and you need to get the kind of what, what has a squeeze uh, uh, packet in it, like the squeeze cheese uh, packet. That's the kind you need, which is, uh, uh, to, I've got the Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Deluxe. You can use any type you want. I just happen to have this on hand, and you need two of these. You're going to need uh, petite diced tomatoes, one can. You're going to need some pizza sauce, sour cream, some pepperoni, and uh, Italian uh, cheese. You can use mozzarella if you like. But I like the Italian uh, cheese. This has got five different kind of cheeses in it. So this is going to uh, work just fine. And uh, uh, eight ounces of this, by the way. Going to need a, a bell pepper uh, chopped up. I usually put like red bell pepper in this, but I didn't have any red. Green was the only thing I had in, on hand. So that's what's going in today. And I'll go ahead and get started and show you how all this comes comes about and comes together. Oh, and something else what you're going to need. You're going to need a baking pan to put it in. I'm going to use this one. What I've done is I've already cooked the mac and, mac and cheese. And I added the cheese sauce already, so I'm in the process of uh, stirring, it, stirring it all together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, sour cream to it. You need about a half a cup of sour cream. Add it right to the mac and cheese. I'm, I'm not going to measure this. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. And if it looks right, then it's going in. That looks about right, right there. We just mix this in together with the mac and cheese, the sour cream. Whoop. Guess I need sideboards. I, Mrs. Scoggett's going to really get, get upset because that's on the floor. And she just got through cleaning the floor. That's what makes it bad. You just mix the sour cream in with the uh, mac and cheese, just like this. Just make sure that it's all kind of mixed in there. This is so good. I mean, it's, it's really good if you never had it. Now what I'm going to do is take my baking pan and I'm just going to go ahead and put the mac and cheese in the baking pan. Kind of spread it out here. And you just kind of spread it out in the in the baking pan so it flattens it out just a little bit. Kind of even it out.
That looks pretty good right there. Oh, and something what I forgot to do is I forgot to spray this pan. Uh, I should have sprayed it with a, with a spray, but that's no problem. Even I mess. See, even I forget to do things to mess up. That's no problem. I got another pan. I'll spray this, and I'm putting that mac and cheese in there. What I've got is some uh, canola oil spray, and I'm just going to spray this pan. Now we'll try this again and see if it works. Got mac and cheese. Tell you what. Now we're going to do it right. I sprayed down a, uh, my pan and I'm going to transfer the mac and cheese, what I already got in this pan, to this other pan. Don't make the mistake I did. Yeah, even I messed up. Man. Imagine that one. It's all good, it'll work. Trust me. And I have this all fixed up just perfect. Now I have to do it again. The reason for, for the uh, cooking spray is so the mac and cheese don't, don't uh, like stick and burn. And I should have done that. I don't know why I've done that. Forgot to do it. Oh well, it's all good. Nobody's perfect. However, I tell everybody, I'm the best man whatever ever walked the earth. And they look at me and they said, oh really? And I said, yeah, you, you don't believe me? Go ask my mother. Mm -hmm. Mama will tell you. Kind of wipe some of this oil off here. Okay, I'm going to put this to the side just a sec so we can go ahead and add our uh, pizza sauce. And tomatoes. Or diced, petite diced tomatoes. And you want to drain, whenever you get these, you want to drain it. You don't want all the juice in there because it's going to make it too runny. Now we're just going to mix this up. Just like this. Now what I'm going to do, back to my mac and cheese, now what I'm going to do is just take the pizza sauce, I'm going to put it on top of the mac and cheese, spread it on top just like this. So it's kind of like you're laying a, a pizza, but it's not pizza, it's uh, mac and cheese underneath instead of the... the crust.
just spread this round real good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cheese, my Italian cheese, it's got a fire blend to it. It's got mozzarella, protofalone, parmesan, riamano, fontina, and a seagull. We're just going to put it on, just on the top, just like this. And spread it out. Tell you what, this is going to be so good if you, and like I say, if you have kids, they'll just love this. They'll be wanting this all the time. Be sure you use the whole thing, don't skimp on it. Just spread it around. Now what I'm going to do is take my pepperoni, and I'm going to put my pepperoni on it. Just like this. I'm going to do half about pepperoni and half without because Mrs. Scoggett don't like pepperoni. So I'm going to have to compromise and make, make it where she can get some of this without the pepperoni on it. And why she don't like pepperoni, I don't know. She never have. Never have liked it. I don't know why. I keep telling her I don't know what you're missing. I mean, you're missing missing uh, something good right here on the pepperoni. That's what really brings out the flavor and everything to it. And how many pepperonis? How many you want to put on there? I usually put a lot because I like the pepperoni. Try to fill it all up. And they're pretty thin too. Now I got some bell pepper. I'm going to put a little bit of bell pepper on there too. To add a little bit of flavor to it. I like the bell pepper. And that's that's the way it looks. And something else is, if you like, I made this half because Mrs. Scoggett doesn't like uh, pepperoni. But if I was making it for like uh, somebody else who liked pepperoni or, or uh, whatever, I'd cover the whole thing. That's why half of it's uh, not half, but but a little bit of it's kind of the way it is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees and I'm going to let it bake uh, for about 25-30 minutes and all this is going to melt. It's going to heat up. The pepperoni is going to kind of, you know how pepperoni gets. And the bell pepper is going to cook and oh, it's going to be delicious. So I'll have the second part coming up and I'll show you how this turned out uh, with the finished product. And uh, I appreciate you watching the video and leave a comment whether you like the video or whether you don't. Hope you'll give this a try because it's really good. And 
Something else, I can't believe that I've got to spray that pan. I always spray the pan. Hmm. All right. Okay. Well, I'll have the second video coming up, and y'all take care.